It's time for another episode of Trash to Cash. This is the fourth episode in the series now. This time, I'm not going to be getting anything online. Instead, I'm going to have a look in person at one of my favourite spots. This is the doghouse in Warsaw. I love coming here because you just never know what you're going to find. Outside, typically, is the reclamation items. You're going to find the old radiators, old fireplaces, and even some post boxes. These jerry cans would make great mini bars. And look at these old school benches. Inside is a real Aladdin's cave. You could get lost for hours in here. But this is what's caught my eye. It's an old commode. I think it's got potential. I absolutely love the doghouse. You can really get lost in that place. But what a find this was. This was literally the last thing that I spotted. It was initially under a few blankets, so I lifted those off. I thought it was just gonna be a little cupboard and I thought, oh, it might be a, a nice, simple job, like paint the front and stuff. Lifted the lid, saw it was a commode, noticed that the front legs have got a bit of a cut behind them and that the slide out to reveal a footrest. I think this is gonna be a lovely upcycle. So my plan, is to first of all sort out everything that needs to be fixed. There's pieces on the top that I'm loose and the piece underneath that would have held the chamber pot that's kind of broken as well so that needs fixing. But I'm planning to actually put a padded seat here instead and match the material to the front of the footrest so it should be a nice combination. Ideally if the top sands up nice I'll keep that as like a natural wood but the rest of it I think I'm gonna paint. It's really nothing special the veneers peeling off I don't think it's got much appeal in the current state that it's in so a lick of paint should give it a new lease of life. So the first job is to get these top hinges removed. Right so I've got the lid off but the trouble is I think it's in that much of a state that I'm gonna to have to first break it to fix it. So now that I've got the pieces cleaned up, I'll be able to get them actually glued back on. And I can do the same thing to the broken seat. While the tops are gluing up in the background, I've removed the footrest. It literally just slides out from the unit. And I'm gonna get this old fabric removed. I'm gonna keep hold of this fabric for now, because this should work as a nice template for the new piece. I'll be able to crack on with some sanding while the glue's still drying on the top pieces. I reckon this top section of wood will look lovely, left natural. So what I'm thinking, if I try and maintain this bead, and that will all be natural wood, and then from there down we'll be painted. So when it's in the final unit, you should be able to just see that light bead of natural wood against the paint, and that will just give you a bit of an inkling that, oh, the front pulls out, it's a separate part. So as far as sanding the rest goes, all I really need to do is key the surface ready for some paint. So the side pieces are glued onto the top okay. There's a few gaps, but we can always fill those. Now we can get the front glued on. Now we can leave that to dry. So now we've got the front glued on, I'll be able to get it sanded and that should highlight any of the areas that need filling. So we'll sand it, fill it with some wood filler and then sand it again. Now I'll be able to get some wood filler mixed and fill in all these gaps. So the top's been sanded smooth again now, ready for oil, but obviously this wood filler is standing out like a sore thumb. So what I'm gonna try is just colouring it in with a brown felt tip pen. It's not ideal, but I wanna see what it looks like at least when the oil goes on, because this wood will naturally get darker with the oil. If the worst comes to the worst and it stands out and it looks horrible, I can always put a walnut stain wax on the top and it should blend it all in nicely. So the oil had fully dried and I've sanded it back just to make it smooth and just to get rid of any of the little nibs that come up. And now I'm gonna try some of the wax walnut stain and hopefully this will make that filler blending a lot more. Fingers crossed. Now 
Now I'll be able to work on turning this toilet seat into an actual padded seat. And to do that, I've got a scrap piece of plywood. I've painted the underside just to make it a bit nicer. And I've painted the edges as well, just to kind of take a right off things. And I've marked around to give me a circle in the middle. Now for that circle, I've got some scrap memory foam. This used to actually be from a mattress. So this is gonna be ideal for this situation. Draw the circle and I've cut it out. To stop it moving round on me, I'm gonna put a few dabs of super glue onto the board. Or maybe off the bottle. I might as well spread that round now before it sets. Now with that in place, when I've got some material over it, I think that that will look really nice. It'll be a nice pillow kind of cushion in the middle and it should work really good. In the bottom of the commode, there's still a hole all the way through. So I'm gonna be using this piece of MDF. I'm gonna put some PVA glue on it and I'm gonna add some of this wallpaper. It'll act as a bit of a false bottom and it should be a nice interest piece if you lift up the seat. I can leave that to dry and then I can trim off the excess later. First thing I'm gonna drop in is the piece with the wallpaper on. Now we can have a look at fitting the seat. I'll put some new hinges on the back and I'll be able to attach that in place. So one of the last things to do now is to add the material to the footrest. Now I've cut this one to size. This is the same material I've used on the seat, so it should be a nice match. And to stick it in place, I'm gonna be using some spray adhesive. Now this can be quite awkward because once you've sprayed it, it tends to, to like to get everywhere but we'll give it a try and hopefully I don't get spray adhesive all over the wooden parts. So that's the commode seat done. I'm really pleased with how this has turned out. I think it'll make a great addition to any living room, really. It's ideal, it's inconspicuous. You've got the lid down, you can put a plant on the top and it just looks like a regular unit. But then if you've got any friends or family that come over and you've run out of seats, you can lift the lid, kick the footrest out and you've got an extra chair for somebody. Plus, there is some hidden shallow storage underneath the lid too. So what do you think to this one? Would you have kept it as a commode and just kind of fixed it up? Because not everyone's got two bathrooms and who knows when you get caught short? Or would you have gone down the route that I've gone, turn it into a hidden seat so you've got a nice bit of furniture for in the living room? Let us know in the comments down below what you think. This is gonna go up for sale now, so fingers crossed it gets a decent price. Unfortunately, the waterfall from the last episode is yet to sell. Now I did expect that, to be honest. It's not to everyone's taste, but I've kind of hoped that it would have caught somebody's eye at least and sold quickly, but it hasn't. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave it up for sale all through the rest of the series. And if it doesn't end up selling, I'll cover the costs involved. This is gonna be for charity at the end of the day. And I don't want the charity losing out because of me making a choice to upcycle something that nobody ever wanted. So I will keep you updated with it. I hope that the waterfall sells, but even more, I hope we get a decent price for this one. If you haven't subscribed to On A Budget already, make sure you click the subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it. That way you'll get a notification as soon as you upload a new video. Thank you all for watching.